All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be discussing laminar flow versus turbulent flow and showing a really cool presentation and demonstration of what that is with corn syrup, a coet cell, some food coloring, and playing cards. Now, what is laminar flow? That's an excellent question. The root word lamin in Latin actually means thin sheets. And so that's when fluid actually flows, believe it or not, in thin sheets very uniformly and smoothly. There's no mixing in between the sheets. So think of these playing cards right here. Each one, I have 52 sheets. So each one is their own fluid. Well, it's the same fluid, but it's moving parallel with each other. No disruption between each layer. That is what laminar flow is. And a good example of this is if you go to an amusement park or a hotel and you see those fountains and they have really smooth running water that is laminar flow, and it's to help create ambiance and aesthetically pleasing area, and it just looks really uniform and smooth. Now, if you turn on a faucet and you get to the, the stream to almost look like it's not even moving, that's laminar flow as well, or close to it. It's pretty close to laminar flow. Now, what is turbulent flow? That is where mixing does occur, and there's a lot more chaos. It's like taking these cards and just dropping them like that, and then picking them up and saying, there we go. That is turbulent flow kind of in a nutshell. Now, a gentleman in 1883 wrote a paper on this. His name was Osborne Reynolds, and he was able to predict different types of flow mathematically using properties of the fluid, such as its viscosity, which is the resistance to flow, the speed of the fluid, and then if it's running through a pipe, you use the diameter, and with those parameters, he's able to calculate what he calls the Reynolds number and with that he can calculate I mean determine what kind of flow it is if it's below 2100 you have laminar flow if it's above 4000 you have turbulent flow so I'm going to show a demonstration of laminar and turbulent flow and when you see it it's either going to make you cry or it's going to blow your mind or you're going to think it's voodoo I don't know it kind of blew my mind I thought it was pretty crazy so anyways, sit back and enjoy. Okay, now I'm actually going to demonstrate the laminar flow. See, I have two streaks of food coloring in there, the red and the blue, obviously. Now I'm going to start rotating this center cylinder. You can start seeing how the food coloring is starting to shear apart and be torn apart. Now the goal is to be able to rotate it backwards into its original streak pattern after we've ripped it apart to show that things with laminar flow are definitely in sheets. And there you go, we're back to the original streak that we had. So if I do it again, let's do it a couple more times, well, a couple more rotations. So things look like they're starting to mix, starting to really tear things apart. Now let's rotate it back. Look how cool that is. Right back to its original streak. So that's how the laminar flow works with sheets. They start moving parallel to each other and then they move back. So next I'll demonstrate turbulent flow. Okay, now I'm going to try turbulent flow and my practice run didn't end so well. As you can see, there's corn syrup all over the wall on the back. So we're gonna try this a different way. So this time I'm gonna hold it still instead of not, and I'm gonna use my high power drill and we're gonna rotate this. The goal is to mix it so that you can't undo it because remember the Reynolds number of 4,000 or higher is for turbulent flow. And part of the Reynolds number there are some parameters, and one of them being the velocity of the fluid as well as the viscosity. So as we increase the velocity, we can increase the Reynolds number. So I'm going to increase the velocity. So here we go. Let's see if this works. Okay, now I'm going to go the other way. Okay, as you can see, it's mixed up. We didn't get back to its original streak like we did with a slower velocity. 
So basically, that in layman's terms is how laminar flow and turbulent flow work and the differences between the two. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.